Hi, I'm Juanita from Nearby Artisans, and I've seen a lot of uh, requests lately to um, take away a background or at people asking, can you take out just this person in the, the picture? Can you just um, crop this? So I'm going to show you how to do it yourself. I'm assuming that if you're asking somebody to do that, that you don't have Photoshop or photo editing software, but Silhouette Studio can do that. So um, this here picture was a picture of one of my daughter's dogs, and there was a, a whole background here. Um, so I'm going to show you with this picture. This is my other daughter, and she's an actress out in California. And I'm going to make this bigger. And I'm going to um, go into editing here. Just click on this picture. Just going to click around and get the curve of the hair. But I don't want the wispy, wispy hairs there. So I'm just going to go around. And I'm just going to outline the part of the picture that I want. Or I cannot be outlining the part of the picture I don't want, but um, I'm just going to do the, the parts that I want. And I'm just going to kind of rough do this because I'm going to fix it next. So now I'm going to go into my point editing here. And and there, there's the point editing. Um, We'll get these. Okay, so now this here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. I want to, this has these great Bezier curves, and I really like working with them. They're a lot of fun. Um, they make it so much easier. Inkscape has these, and um, I'm pretty sure Photoshop does. But these, because you can really, you can manipulate these like this. You could turn that completely around. See how that twirls and it'll go outward and you pull it out for more of a curve. You bring it in for a more subtle curve. Now they, they do work together as far as if you tilt one, the other one's going to move too. But they work independently of each other as far as the, 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 um, how long that curve is, the curvature of it. So... I'm going to go out to here, do this part, pull that in, pull that one in a little bit. I'm going to pull this one out. And now I'll take care of this later, this flatness on top. I'm just going to pull these in, that in. I want to get this to have a little inward dip there. And now I will do the opposite on this one to get that in. So kind of in the middle, I pulled one out and one in to get that curve. Going to pull that. I want this one. Now this one here, I might just separate these two. And, and then I have that one. And now I'm going to, on this one, I'm going to make that flat. And pull this down a little, although that won't matter. And I'm going to pull this in. Okay, so now the thing about this is that even after I, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick on, uh, choose both of those, and then I'm going to crop. The thing about this is that if I pick a part, like right here, the part, that part's still behind there. You see, that's still there. So if I decide, oh, I really didn't mean to take out that that much of it, you can go in and you can um, go in and pull that back in. Um, but you can go in and you can um, go go back and recapture some of the things that you deleted. 
Now this here, I want that gone. So I'm just going to delete these points, get rid of those. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out how that that happened. I guess I want to delete that and, and that and that, I guess. Okay, and now I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to click on that. I'm going to delete these and now I'll pull this part back out. to get that hair back how I wanted it. But see how that is, I'm able to just go in and kind of like pull my curves out, pull that one, pull this one back in, and there. And now I like that. I'm going to fix the part at the top of the hair up at the top. I'm going to pull this up and try to get the, the curve that I know is there of her head. Um, but I, I don't want it, the pointy part there. I don't want this part. Okay, and now I like that. Um, and I, I, I used this picture and I made her her own um, makeup bag that she can carry to the sets with her. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get an oval because I don't want the flat part here. The flat part on the bottom there is okay if I were... Uh, going to have this on a surface that ended right there, maybe the bottom of a shirt, maybe the bottom of the zipper bag, but I want it to curve. So I'm going to go ahead and get a curve or a, um, an oval here. I'm going to kind of line it up how much I, I would want, and I would want not quite that much. Okay, and now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get a copy of this and put it to the side. Um, now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to crop it again. And now I have this that I can put and match right up to there. Put it right where the other one was. Okay. Now I could go in and I could give this color. I could, um, I'm going to make sure I put it to the back. And I could go in and I could get, oh, um, maybe a soft blue back there, you know, darker. I could even pick a color from the, the uh, picture. I could pick a cheek color there. And so I, I, and right now I would print this out using my, um, getting my, um, the, um, the lines that up here by um, registration marks. Um, get rid of that. But uh, I'm just going to show you how to um, print to print this. I'm not going to do the whole print and cut, but it would be the same. So now I'm just going to make that a solid. And assuming that I'm printing this out on either sticker paper or um, sticky back vinyl uh, or whatever I'm printing this out on, and now I want to cut it. So I want to send it to the cutter. So when I send it to the cutter, I have this right here is what it's going to cut. So it's printed this out on the printer, and now I put it in the cutter, and this is the, where it's going to cut. However, if I wanted her to cut out, I would just go in and click on cut, and then I would take away the oval, especially if I didn't want the oval completely taken away permanently. I just wanted just for now to cut out. I'm seeing where it's going to cut. Um, again, I don't want that cut out, so I'm just going to do no cut. I'm going to click on my oval again, and I'm going to click cut. And now this is where it will just cut a nice oval there of that sticky paper. Or if I'm doing, if I was doing sublimation, I would probably go ahead and have it cut um, that and not do the oval. If I were doing print and cut, on sticky paper, vinyl, uh, anything like that, I would go ahead and I would have just, I'm not going to ever want both of them cut. Um, so this is where you figure out which things you want cut out. Make sure that it says no cut and there's not a red line if that's not what you want cut out. And that the part you do, and sometimes people will send these to print and it won't cut 
and they're not they're not sure why and uh, nothing's cutting it's because everything is set to no cut nothing here is saying cut so you have to go in and you look for your red line red cut lines um and now the same thing with this the dogs if i want them to be cut i could have them cut together see right now it's set to cut together and if i don't want the cut dogs on the inside cut then I click no cut. I do want to click on the outside though, and I want that cut. Oh, it's because they're grouped, so I have to ungroup them. See, if that'll ever happen and you don't know why it won't separate, they must be grouped or a compound path or something like that. So you just correct that. Now I'll do no cut. And so now it would print out the picture of the dog, and then I could run it through my cutter, and it's going to cut ovals around where the the dogs are printed um, and this is just a, a really good tool to use now another thing about this say that I get this to the to the to the um, so I'm getting ready to send it to the printer and I realize gosh I really think that I wish I saved some of this hair all that stuff is still there you see it's all still there it's just not going to print if you have it um, if you if you don't have it um, uh, chosen, it's not going to to print out. But now I could I could go in and redo the whole hair and say, oh, I do want this little this little wispiness. I want that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and get that. And th there I ha and I could do the same thing with the other side. Now you'll notice down here what it's doing is it's repeating. And I don't understand that, and that's just fine. But it's repeating the picture. When I pull this out, it's just going to keep repeating it. Which, you know, if you wanted that, it's kind of a neat tool. But um, another thing that I like is that... Now, I don't know if this is the case with... Um, I don't know at what level you get these. I have the business edition. But say I want... It to have um, this star right here and I'm gonna go ahead and make that star and these here this here decides how many if you can see let me go over to there this here little slider decides how many points there are going to be this decides how deep those are going to be like clear to the to in, in deep and I love that it's like a sparkle um, and then this of course is setting it up the size and the placement so now I like that and I'm going to go up and I'm going to convert that to path because I don't want it to keep changing every time I, I touch it so I'm going to convert that to path now I'm gonna get that the size of um and i want i want it to be small enough to where there's no blank spots the picture is larger so um that looks pretty good and now i think that i want to pull this out some so that the point and i'm going to pull this part out just to make sure that the points don't have any blank um areas now see on this, that point goes out a little past, but it's still within the picture. And now I'm going to pick up, pick both of those, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to crop. And now I have that. And I still have editable points. And these points, if I pulled it out, it would still have the picture behind it. But um, there's a lot I can do with that. And now if I go in and I'm going to uh, send it to print, I still want to make sure, like, okay, so this is going to cut, and then it's going to cut just that outside edge, that there's not any internal parts that are still in there that are wanting to, to um, cut. And I'm just going to double check that before I actually send it to the printer, that none of the picture that I had had points on, uh, it, and which won't happen if you have a picture that you haven't altered at all. But um, if you have altered the picture and cut anything out, there may be a point like in here around the face or something. Um, that you want to make sure it's not going to try to cut that. And 
Here's another picture of my daughter. I don't know if I mentioned that she's an actress. Um, and um, go into these tools again. Like, oh, I mean, I really like so many of them. I could do a um, teardrop, I guess. This part here kind of decides the, you know, if it's tilting. And this is basically just tilting it. And I'm going to go ahead and convert to path. Oops. I didn't want those two things to happen. There. And now I will go up to the, um, I might, and oh, I might flip that around. Um, and get a picture in there. And now if I click on both of these, I can crop, and then I have that. And so it's just a lot of fun to use these, but you can use that, that um, it's this tool right here. And it's these, and you just go around your edge, and or whatever you want to delete. If you even wanted to delete a part of the picture, go around the part you want to delete, and then just crop, and it'll get rid of that for you. And some of these other tools you can also use in pictures. So you know, give them all a try, see what happens. Just you know, make sure you have something in there that you haven't. That if you've saved it, just save it as a second file, uh, so that whatever you do to it, it's okay. If you know, it, it, you, you can't mess up, and it's just wonderful to try all these new things. But go in and, and try, uh, go in and try editing your own pictures. Um, and you can set, put like two pictures together. You could have a picture of a little kid, and then you could have a picture of basket, a, a basket of flowers, and you can pull the basket of flowers into the picture with the little kid. And you know, so do some of these things, try them. And when you, when you um, start selling. Go, or if you're already selling, go to Nearby Artisans, the website, and get listed so that the people in your community know that you're there and know that you sell. Um, thank you very much for watching.